John chapter 20, verse 24 to 29. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, was not with the others when Jesus came. They told him, We have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe unless I see the nail wounds in his hands and put my finger into them and place my hand into his wounds, the wound on his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound on my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My Lord, my God, Thomas exclaimed. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. I love how eight days later, when Jesus appears to them with the disciples and greets him the same way with, Peace be with you. And he draws his attention immediately to Thomas with a very gentle approach to his unbelief. Jesus offers Thomas the reassurance he wanted. Charles Swindle observes that Jesus' light rebuke of Thomas is essentially him saying, it's okay to place complete faith in me. I won't let you down. I am here, I am real, and I will not abandon you. Jesus knows where we all are regarding our faith in him. And he is always gentle in reminding us. We all have doubts about things in life. It could be financial stability, the provision of work, um, health and well-being. Jesus will continually remind us that we don't need to doubt, but simply trust in him. So what are the doubts that you have in your life? And how can you turn those doubts into trust in Jesus?